This is the greatest violation of the Eighth Amendment that I'm aware of in the United States today. It's time for the American people to wake up. The price we're asking him to pay is too high. It is too high. I think there was a lot in that case that smelled rotten to me, including the initial supposed allegations of murder for hire, but which the government didn't actually charge in the end. Why are you supportive of a guy that tried to kill you? And, and I, I immediately snapped back and I said, how do you know that he tried to have me kill him? You, you're just going by what the government tells you. I don't believe it. When you read his history, you find out that he's not a vicious criminal and he has two life sentences and never committed a violent crime. After this, I have a totally different perspective. I don't believe everything I read anymore. I don't believe everything I see on TV anymore or on the news. And in a shocking move, the judge actually went above and beyond what the prosecutors were even asking for and gave him a life sentence. Double life sentence seems awfully severe for what he did. And instead of being sentenced to 10 years in prison, like the site's most voluminous drug dealer or another digital pusher who only got 17 months, Ross Ulbright was sentenced to two life sentences plus 40 years with no possibility for parole. Ain't that a kick in the nutlets. Remind him of what Ross Albright, who did much less with Silk Road, is serving two life sentences plus 40 years. When you look at the crazy sentence there and what actually happened, there's a lot of questions about Ross Ulbricht and whether that was a miscarriage of justice. He's just one more casualty of our drug war. And the drug war and cyber, I would say, are two of the most misprosecuted, min misunderstood, and contentious areas of, of law that we face in America today. And Ross is smack in the middle of those two. They basically landed him with all of the illegal things that were sold on his platform. Mm -hmm. If they applied that to uh, Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg would never see the light of day again. Facebook, the world's largest social media company, only began tracking drug activity, drug postings on its platform last year. And within six months, the firm identified 1.5 million posts selling drugs. That's what they admitted to removing. Put that in perspective, that's 100 times more postings than the notorious dark website The Silk Road ever carried. I think it is an unfair standard that we use for him for running a platform. The guy has been condemned to rot in prison for setting up a website. He is a guy who has served, or will have served, certainly by October of this year, over 10 years in prison. He's the very definition of scared straight. This guy is not going to reoffend. No American is safer because Ross Ulbricht is in jail for life. When and they wanted to make an example out of somebody. If I find that Ross Ulbricht was punished as an example, then I will give him clemency. No, I think that he also deserves a commutation of sentence. He doesn't claim that he was innocent. He, he knows now that it was a crime. He's asking for clemency. He's asking for his sentence to be commuted. Life in the federal system means life. It's not like the state system where you get a life sentence and, and you can get out. I hope one day we can get together and you know what? I bet you will become friends. It's what he can contribute to society right. on a social level, on a personal level, on a community level, if he's no longer behind these bars. You know, I'm sure he's done enough time. Get him out. Set the man free. He has been imprisoned, beaten down by the system, and has forfeited his fortune to the Fed. If he isn't granted clemency, he will die in a cave. He won't get out. He won't get out.